5G um, standard is the, the latest iteration of the, the mobile standard. The development of that uh, technology and the development of standards requires some intellectual property. Potentially, the applications of 5G are very numerous. It can potentially allow for very large increases in productivity and very large benefit to the final consumers. On the one hand, it is necessary to give a remuneration to the owners of the technology, those that have developed the technology that are covered by intellectual property rights, but it's also important to ensure that those who are actually implementing the, the technology and have to undertake the investment to undertake the technology actually have enough uh, resources in order, to, in order to do so. The 5G royalties that Huawei uh, currently has put forward at first sight seems extremely reasonable. I mean, it seems to be a level of royalty that really strikes the balance between the interest of the uh, owners of the technology and the, uh, the implementers. In order to see this, it's worth um, keeping a perspective of how significant uh, Huawei has become in terms of the, the technology that is required in order to implement the, uh, the 5G standards. I mean, Huawei is currently by far the most significant contributor uh, to the technology in terms of the, uh, the number of uh, patents, the number of intellectual property rights it owns that are required in order to implement the standard. So with the current proposal and a cap at $2.5 per device in the context of the application to, to mobile device, the aggregate level of royalty that one would obtain if the other contributors of the, the technology apply a similar policy will lead to an aggregate level that remains reasonable.